when you open the bonnet of your car, you see your engine. There are several other components or parts that are connected to the engine which make it operate the way it's supposed to operate. For instance, when you get into your car and start it, there is a component that is responsible for causing the engine to get into motion and the engine starts running. That is called the starter. So let us look at, other than the starter, which other parts do we find connected to the engine? So we have the engine here. This is your engine. And as explained earlier, the purpose of the engine is to produce power, which is transferred to the gearbox and the gearbox transfers that power to the wheels so that uh, the car can move. So now the engine can work cannot work on itself. Yeah. The main part of an engine is the engine block where the combustion takes place. But besides that there are other accessories which need to be connected to the engine for it to do what? For it to operate. So some of those uh, components, the main components or the major components which are connected to the engine is your radiator. There is the radiator and the purpose of the radiator is to cool the engine. Remember, combustion takes place. Combustion is producing fire. This fire produces heat. So the engine will obviously overheat. Make sure that the engine does not burn. So we use, there is a cooling system that is used and basically it's either coolant or water which is put into the radiator and the radiator circulates the water. The, re the radiator's work is to cool down that water. Either there's a fan in front of the radiator that runs that cools the water or when you're moving at a high speed there is wind which will blow towards the car and that cools the water. And the once the water is cooled at the radiator it is again uh, circulated around various engine components and the engine will remain cool throughout your journey. So there's the radiator, then we have the battery. The battery produces the electrical power of a car. It's used to light up your lights, it is used to buy the spark plugs to produce the spark that initiates the combustion in the engine and it is also used to run various accessories like your radio and your AC inside your motor vehicle. So the battery actually is a storage of the power that is required by any component that requires uh, power to be used in your car. So having looked at the battery, we have the alternator. The work of the alternator is to recharge the battery or to generate power which recharges the battery and when the car is in motion, the alternator produces that power that is sometimes consumed directly by the vehicle, by the engine. So the alternator's work is to charge the battery. Like I've mentioned, when you start the car, there's a component which is uh, basically uh, for that purpose, and that is the starter. So the starter is used to initiate the process or the motion of starting the engine. Once you start your car, uh, the battery will provide power to the starter. The starter will rotate the engine. The engine will immediately, as, as, as the battery is providing power to the starter, the battery is also providing power to the spark plugs, which initiate the combustion process. And during that process, which is concurrent, the engine fires up or the engine starts up and it, start, it starts running. So we've looked at the alternator which charges the battery, we've looked at the radiator which cools the engine and we've looked at the starter which starts the engine. Those are the main components of an engine in a motor vehicle. The other thing is the gearbox. So like we've seen earlier, gearbox is the one now that receives the power and the motion which is transferred to the wheels for the car to start moving. And the main work of the gearbox is to connect uh, the engine, the rotation of the engine, 
to the gearbox and the gearbox transfers that motion to the wheels. So what is found in the gearbox mainly is your clutch. It's your clutch which is found uh, in your gearbox and the gear stick or the gear lever which is used to engage gears in a car. Those are the major components of an engine and that is how the engine produces power and transfers the motion to the gearbox and the gearbox using the various ratios inside itself transfers that motion to the wheels and that like we've seen we've said that determines what amount of power the car requires to move depending on the terrain if you're going uphill it requires a lot of power and a low gear if you're going on a flat surface it requires less power therefore a higher gear when you're going downwards downhill it requires the highest gear and very little amount of, uh, of, of, of power. Yes, yeah, so that is how an engine is designed. We shall look at the service areas of making sure that your car operates at its optimum performance level. Running.